Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to cover how you can install and use Reshade with your game library on Linux. Now, if you're not familiar with Reshade, it's a post process injector for games and video software. In short, it allows you to add anti aliasing, ambient occlusion, depth of feel, chromatic aberration, that's a hell of a word to say, dynamic film grain, saturation, color correction, and many other effects to your games. Now, in some cases, using Reshade will actually add functionality that wasn't originally available in the game. Now, officially, Reshade is only available on Windows, but due to the open nature of this particular project, it's also possible to use it on Linux as well. Enter the Reshade-Linux GitHub project, and this will allow you to download Reshade itself, as well as a collection of effects that you can apply to any games that are running using either Steam Proton or Wine itself. So first, we want to open up a terminal window and run this following command here. Now what this command will do is download the reshade-linux script to your home directory. Next we need to make this script which is downloaded executable, which you can do with the following command, which is chmod u plus x reshade-linux.sh. And then finally we need to run the script itself, which we can do with this command here, which is dot slash reshade-linux.sh. Place that in there. Now the first thing I'll ask you to do is if you want to install, install or uninstall Reshade for a particular DirectX game. In my particular case, I'm going to be using the game Dark Souls Remastered, which I have on Steam, so I'm going to be pressing I for this option. So now we need to specify where the game's executable is located. In Steam, the easiest method to do that is if you right click on the properties of the game, go to Properties, go to Local Files, and then click on the Browse button here. And this will open up the path in your file browser. All you need to do is take a copy of that, and then paste it into the entry into the terminal. Press enter, press Y to confirm, and then it'll ask you if you want to use the script to automatically attempt to detect the right DLL files to use for reshade. Press Y on that. I'll also tell you to detect the game in 64 bit, which is correct. So we'll press Y on that. So once the process is finished, we need to take a copy of the environmental variable and then paste that into the game's custom launch options. But let's check a copy of this. Can you minus that? And then under general, in here the launch options, just overwrite what you've got here. Click X, and then launch the game as normal. Okay, so to enable the effects in game, you need to press the home key on your keyboard. And then as you'll see, there's a long list of different effects that you can enable or disable. The two ones that I tend to enable is fake HDR, bottom, and about halfway up, there's one called adaptive sharpen, which I think it makes it less blurry. Enable both of those and then press home. Now we're going to attempt to try and outrun the dragon, which I don't think we're going to be able to do. Because he's going to come and get me in a second. There he is. Oh, doesn't that look good with a nice bit of reshade on? Now, obviously, something to bear in mind the more effects you apply, obviously, the more intensive it's going to be on your system. But for a game like Dark Souls, it's not too bad. Let's just quickly run down here and get the bonfire. I play this game to death, so I kind of remember where everything is. He says as if he gets how to kick a ladder. You know, I've forgotten how you... Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was going to say, I've forgotten how to actually climb down the ladder. Okay, so with that, you now have a method of installing and using Reshade on Linux. Thank you very much, very much for watching guys, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye now!